Today we visited the site of Jesus' death and resurrection, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre built by Constantine in 336 AD. Make sure to pray and be ready before you walk in because as soon as you do, Calvary is immediately up the stairs on your right. It is not at all like I was expecting. Most of the hill is actually not visible, but you can see the top where the cross was and even kneel down to pray and touch the rock. Then you go down the stairs to the left and a mural depicting the death and burial of Jesus ushers you into the next room, which contains the empty tomb. There you wait in line to enter the shrine where the tomb is housed. You're not supposed to take pictures, but I did sneak a quick video of the outer chamber. All in all, it was a really powerful experience. But one of the things that impacted me the most was a bit surprising. The church is actually owned by six different denominations who all work together to contribute their own touch to the design, architecture, and upkeep of the building. It was a beautiful picture of the body of Christ setting aside their differences to work together in honor Jesus.